Greetings everyone and welcome to another video on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Today we're going to discuss a topic that not a lot of the community fully understands and was recently changed for the better in the last major update. We are going to be talking about Gear 12. So if you want to get a bunch of Gear 12 and Gear 12 plus pieces for your characters, watch this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, so... What is Gear 12? Gear 12 is what makes a character gold. Uh, gear 1 and 2 are the two green levels. Gear 3 through 6 are blue. 7 through 11 are purple. And then when you hit 12, you get that beautiful golden border and gear pieces that have some ridiculous stats on them. Taking a look here quickly at Asajj Ventress. 120 physical damage, armor pen, and crit chance. Uh, 250 health, 40 in all base stats, 50 special, 50 physical, 10% potency and tenacity, 50% health steal. These pieces of gear are very powerful. And then there's gear 12 plus. These are even more ridiculous. 3000 extra health, tactics, speed. That is the most important part. Every single gear 12 plus, or gear 12.5 even as some people call it. All of the stuff on the right side, all of that, each has speed, so there is a guaranteed extra 12 speed if you can secure one of these pieces, or if you can secure both these pieces. And most of the time, there's also a pretty big uh, health bonus. So in this case, Asajj would gain an extra 6,000 health, which on top, which would uh, be an extra 20% health for her, and then the mods would affect that as well. So, yeah, it's a pretty damn big deal. So, where do you get Gear 12? Because this stuff used to not at all be farmable. It used to be that Gear 12 could only be gotten through very, very specific spots. And it's still partially true for certain parts. For starters, you cannot request any of it from the guildies. So, up until now, only... The, the Heroic Sith Raid, an emphasis on Heroic. Wait, no, regular Sith Raid does have some, but for the most part, the Sith Raid, territory battles, and sometimes territory wars would be the source. But you'd have to be very, very high level on, on these. So if we go to rewards, you know, right now, nine stars, you're, you're not getting, as you can see, it, it doesn't award the salvage and the prototypes you need. You need to start getting up towards... I think it's the 40s, yeah. So you need to get to 40 where it starts awarding. Okay, no. Never mind. Huh. Alright, I guess you do get it at. Down here, but. You get much better rewards the higher up you get with. Obviously, if you can get the full 45 stars, you have a very high chance of getting fully crafted pieces of gear 12. And just ridiculous amounts of uh, currency, which also is very nice. So, that's one source. The other source is from here. Especially on Heroic, because this... This one's big. So, those used to be the only sources of Gear 12+, Plus, which locked it off to the highest, uh, highest members of the game. Now, fortunately, there's been some changes... For starters, the left-hand stuff can be purchased in the Guild Event Store, and sometimes will pop up in shipments. If you go to shipments specifically, like the weekly shipment, or the Whale Store, as some people call it, is named so because of the Gear 12 and Gear 12 Plus pieces you can buy. So, if you start scrolling down a bit... Okay, now we're starting to get... Nope, never mind. A lot of biotech implants up this week. Here we go. The Mark 12 stuff. So, one piece of... Um, and this is, this is a Gear 12 Plus piece. 6,500 crystals. That is almost 70... Or almost $50 worth of crystals. That is like... To get that, I would need to save up all my crystals earned for 10 days to buy one of those. But it would then take any one of these characters to a whole new level because extra speed, 
Like, the speed is the most important thing. Speed is king. So the speed would be the really big thing. Um, this is another piece, I think. I don't have a character that needs it right now. Here's just a... Re like, this is a regular gear 12 piece. This has stupid high health. Uh, it's another one of those. And you can also buy the components if you need them. So you, you get the point, though. Like, the Gear 12 Plus have the speed. Yeah, so huge health, speed. don't know why they put that on Sidious. And then you can still buy some of the regular stuff. Like, ugh, the Mark 12 stun guns. I hate these things. Wait, no, this is the Gear 12 one. Never mind. I'm, I'm thinking of the other one where it's the... Uh, it's a stun gun and a biotech implant. I think it's the Mark 9. I don't know. Point is, like, you can buy it, but these are stupid expensive. Um, in the store, there is usually... Oh, wow. Is today the one day it's not up? Wow. Today is the one day it's not up, but almost always it's been a whole bunch of packs right about here where it's like $70, but you get two pieces of Gear 12. But, as you might have noticed while we were looking... There's been a change. If we go to rank 9, you can farm the gear 12 pieces now. They are available. I know those are biotech implants, but if you look, there's that. Uh, not all of them have it, but if you, if you go now, the gear 9 pieces can be farmed. Or the, uh, they... Ugh. Sorry, guys. The Gear 12 pieces can be farmed in Light Side and Dark Side 9. Um, for sure on Normal Mode, I did not check Hard Mode. All right, there's a yellow there. All right, it looks like it's mostly Normal Mode, which is actually better because that way you're not being screwed over by the limited battles. Yeah, so if you look around, you can see some of the pieces are here. Oh, that's where that thing is. Uh, that's a piece that I am very hard pressed to get for um, for the Bastilas. So that's the main things on Gear 12. Like now they can be farmed, which is kind of like the big, really good news. But I will warn you, because I did actually get a piece of it. Like I farmed briefly. Just I was done with all my other panic farms. I was like, okay, let's check. Um, Let's check and see if I can't get Nihilus. Because Nihilus was... And this is the reason they did it, was for situations like this, where Nihilus had... What was it? It was his middle piece was sitting at nine, uh, 29 out of 30. And this hadn't dropped for me in, like, weeks of doing Sith Raid and other guild activities. So now I was able to go in and find it at this one... Um, this one thing. Oh, right. And they also have them in the shard store, but they only come in two there. So, you know, it's it's not an efficient farm. I it, That was their original, like, okay, you can, like, patch in a couple holes in the, the system. Because you're not guaranteed to get a easy number of pieces when you get the salvage. Like, for example, when the Sith Raid drops... I tend to get pieces in 15s, which is half of what you need for, say, this, but usually it's more the Gear 12 Plus stuff because it's Heroic Sith Raid. So that stuff usually comes in 50 requirements, or 20s, in which case then you're left with extra. So being able to farm it's nice, but the drop rate is very low. Um, if I had to guess, because it's not disclosed... Because normally it's like character shards and purple pieces tend to drop at about a 1 to 3 rate. Gold pieces, I've noticed, have tended to drop at a 1 in 5 rate. I think it's 1 in 7 on the gear 12 pieces. Because it took me two refreshes to get the one piece I needed. Like, I was very angry. But again, it got, it got Nihilus a piece of gear 12, which is just like... It, it, 60 armor, 60 resistance, 10% tenacity. The tenacity really, really makes a difference because now he's at 94% tenacity, which is huge. So Nihilus is very hard to stun now. 
And there's still more he could get. He could get the Tactics and Resistance, which would make him tankier. And then if I could do his Gear 12 Plus pieces, which... Um, some of the Gear 12 Plus do require normal components. Like, this is a Mark IV uh, uh, Bacta thing, which, as you can see, it is needed for other things that are not Gear 12. So, some of the Gear 12 Plus pieces do require normal pieces, but then it's like the, the security scanner, for example. Stuff like that. But yeah, no, he could get another huge chunk of resistance, more health, and then more, more health, and more everything, basically. So yeah, and some of them are like hybrids of this. There's this piece. And, and there's some where it's like, I don't have any. Actually, I want to look at that since... I don't have any. Can I farm it? I cannot. Okay, so this is a piece where I'm completely at the mercy of the Sith raid or saving up a ton of crystals. And the other thing about the crystal the crystal purchasing is it's all or nothing. The component parts aren't sold, as you saw. So with the weekly shipment, yeah, it's like you're all in or you're not going to... Like, either you're going to be all in on it and you're going to buy the whole piece from for the full 6500 crystals or you're not gonna you're not gonna buy it. They don't sell the components. So it's all or nothing on the whale route. So if you've got that one character, like if I if I had to recommend it, I would say if you're if you're doing arena, rest in peace Palpatine by the way, but if you're if you're doing arena, it like the that six speed will make the difference on your Revan or your Bastila or your Fallen Bastila or your Jolie. Like the speed is king in arena, and it really comes down to who's got the faster Revan. Like if we look right now, you know, this Revan in the number one spot has 159 speed with uh, bonus speed, which I'm hearing is actually on the low end these days. Like. Some of the stuff I've seen discussed is 165 plus. But if you look, 164. See? This Revan is stronger, and it all comes down to mods. Uh, let me know down below if you guys want me to do a video on mods. I can try and explain it the best I can. It's a complicated system, and it's a really hard one, but it is it is the difference in arena but uh, not in ship arena. It's only the difference in squad arena. In ship arena, all that matters is the level of the mod and whether or not it is, um, it's six or five star. Like that's what matters for ship arena mods because it doesn't matter what type of mod it is. It's just giving you bonus stats based on the raw power of a mod. But yeah, so that's gear 12 plus. Um, and that is one of the reasons it's very important to be in a good guild since this, up until now, basically, buying or getting gear 12 was locked out for players without a good guild. Now you can farm it, because before even to get the pieces, you were still farming from either the guild event store, which can only earn currency from, you know, guild events, or you were saving up a ridiculous amount of crystals, which, you know, getting up to that is very hard. And, like, guild events do feed you crystals. Like, when this terror, like you saw, if we get, um, if we get the full power in the territory war, we're going to get 500 crystals. You get some crystals at the end of every raid. You get crystals for, well, you get crystals for everything in the game, really, but, like, you gain extra crystals for doing guild stuff, so it's very important to participate. So, again, I, I have to emphasize this. Get in a good guild. If you're not, if you can't get in a good guild, focus your roster up. I'm, fo like, again, my whole reason for getting the Revens is not arena. I don't care about squad arena that much. As long as I can parse, I, I mean, ideally, as long as I can get Top 100 around payout. I'm good on arena. I don't want to fight for the top spots because the investment is stupid high. I'm getting the Revens so that I can help my guild in territory wars. Because we've lost our last three wars because of just Revan walls. We can't punch them down. So build your rosters. Like, it, if you can, build a roster that gets you crystals first, like... Again, I put, like, my gearing is all towards Han and Chewie right now so that I can have a strong Falcon so that I can keep growing in, in Ship's Arena. The Flight of the Falcon is pretty much over, and 
yeah, things have gone about as I thought. I fall a little further, but for the most part, I'm in good standing to still get my 400 a day. So, as always, focus on, like, do something to get crystals from Arena, either if you're a young player, like, you, you're in your first six months or something, so you don't have a ton of Revens in your Arena. Like, if, if you're in that kind of position, that's great. You can use free-to-play to get tons of crystals. I wish I had done that when I was a beginning player. I ignored Squad Arena. I did my two dailies, and that was it. I barely focused on making a viable squad. I played with the characters I thought were cool. So, um, Kit Fisto, Qui-Gon Jinn, those kinds of characters. Ones who, up until probably the upcoming Galactic Republic rework, probably are going to be hot garbage for another six months or so. Like, my point was, I didn't do that, so I never had crystals, so... I grew very, very slowly. It took me so, so long to get my first, um, to, to like get my first million GP. And now it's like I'm growing at least 100,000 a month, roughly, on power. And who knows what's going to happen if I can actually get competitive in both arenas. But yeah, so that Gear 12 Plus absolutely must be heroic sith raid or very high tier territory wars like we don't we don't have one up right now it's a, it's just the territory battle um wish there was a way i could like see i that's the one thing i wish i could show you so with the territory war territory battle is the long one war is when it's guild v guild you have to have a certain amount of guild power participating in order to get the rewards. So, like, for example, you know, my guild has 181 million guild power. So, roughly, it's a bit about 3 million a person. I will admit I'm on the lower end. But um, what I'm trying to say is, because of that, if you can get everybody to sign up, you get better rewards... I think there is, I, d I don't remember exactly what the tier is, but you need to hit a certain tier reward, or a, t a certain tier participating. Doesn't matter if you win or lose. Like, you get more Zetas and stuff for winning, so obviously you want to shoot for winning, but I think it's once you're in the three Zeta a win bracket, that's when you can start getting the really good gear out of this, too. Because Territory Wars, is it's hard. It's hard. So I understand when guilds don't want to focus on it. But that is one of the easier paths to gear 12 plus. Well, I mean, it's one of the only paths. The The territory wars or battles are good too, but they only come around once a month for the each one of them. They're more a fuel. Or they're more a fuel for the guild event shop. And now that Malik is in that, um, people are gonna be stuck again farming characters. Like I'm still trying to finish up Wampa because Wampa is a very good character. That is the one thing I'll say about that store on a small tangent is Hoda, Wampa, and Malak are all amazing characters. There's controversy surrounding Malak for sure, but the other two, like, they're like they're a grind, a very hard grind, but they're very strong. Hermit Yoda is, the, is one of the crutches of my current Jedi team, and he'll be useful on my secondary one going forward. And Wampa is just a rebel-destroying machine. He, like a really good Wampa, annihilates its foes. Even at Gear 6, I'm practically soloing Phoenix and secondary Rebel teams with it now in Grand Arena. So, yeah, totally worth it. So, it's it kind of sucks that you need to finish those farms before you can... Before you can uh, farm gear out of that shop again. But yeah, that does it for this one. I just wanted to focus mostly on that aspect of the game... Uh, I'm not going to go into like super detail and like, okay, if you want this character's piece in the middle, you need to go farm these nodes. Like, the, you'll figure it out pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, I just I just wanted to kind of show people where Gear 12 was because I I don't know it, it's it's different and I feel like people were kind of missing the good pact of like, hey, if you're short on a one or two pieces, you can farm it up now. It's like. We've had all this negative news surrounding the controversies of Malak and Darth Revan and certain changes. So I really wanted to emphasize the nice change where you can farm it up. You can finish those gaps in your farming now. And yeah. All right, everyone. Take care and farewell.